What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the 242nd season of uh, Indiana Pacers basketball. We are looking at game number 78, and I was thinking to myself today, boy, I sure am surprised that I have stuck through this long in this uh, as 70 some odd games, 77 games is uh, a lot of games to play. Of course, it has the gimmick. You know the gimmick. We're in NBA 2K21. It's my league. We're playing a whole season. The quarters are only 60 seconds. That, that's definitely what's kept me in it. Um, we picked up a win against the Brooklyn Nets in our last game. Notching it up. Getting it to 38 and 39. Feeling good against an opponent that's... I don't know. I feel like it's been 50-50 against... Uh, we beat them initially. Struggled maybe a little bit in the last couple of meetings. Doesn't matter. What matters is that last win, which helps us get to, again, 38 and 39. We're pretty set here in the fifth position. Oh, they're not even going to make the playoffs. I said I said in the last video that the Brooklyn Nets would be a matchup that I don't want to see. Uh, we're not going to see them at all because they are not going to make the playoffs. Uh, it does look like we're going to be pretty set here in this fifth position. We are the same number of games behind, two and a half uh, behind that Boston team right there. Uh, we do see them in the next game, but we can't focus on that right now. We have to worry about the Washington Wizards who are coming to town. So we'll go ahead and jump on in to this game. Uh, again, with this last stretch, this last little six-game stretch where four of these are at home, want to go four and two. Want to go into the playoffs with a 500 record. I don't want to back into the playoffs with a losing record. I do think that the two most losable games were the Nets and are the Celtics. I feel pretty good about these other teams, so hopefully, or and, not so hopefully, and we already beat the Nets, so hopefully we can continue that positive momentum against the Wizards, who we see twice in the last five games. Uh, they have Russell Westbrook, who is pretty terrifying, but feeling pretty good after that last game. Let's go ahead and jump on in here, press start, through 2K TV, great, good for you, you're making it. Brogdon, Oladipo, Holiday had a huge three in the last game. We'll leave him in. Nance played well. McDermott hit a shot. That'll work. That works for me. Let it auto fine. Let, or let it auto match up. That's fine. Enjoy the rest of the loading. We'll see you at the tip. Downtown Indianapolis moving at warp speed in this time-lapse footage. We're in the basketball hotbed of Indiana. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. Alongside Chris Weber and Greg Anthony, I'm Kevin Harlan, the fourth member of our crew. From the sideline, Hall of Famer David Aldridge. GA, it's all yours. Kevin, thanks very much. The Wizards have struggled the last couple of years, so some people were surprised that Bradley Beal signed an extension there. Beal said, today a lot of stars want to team up. No knock, but I'm a firm believer in sticking with what you got. If I win a championship in D.C., that'll hold way more weight than if I just left and tried to get one. Kevin? Oh, I love that story. David, thank you. Now we get a chance to check out the seating out east. Four games left on the schedule here. You take a look at the Pacers. If the playoffs started today, they'd hold the number five seed. Of course, they're looking to build on that. And, of course, the Wizards. They find themselves in the dregs of the conference. And seeing where Washington is, they've had such a disappointing season. Even when they've gotten a little bit of momentum, they haven't been able to keep it going. No, and, and it's frustrating. It's frustrating to everyone, the players, the coaches, the fans. I mean, there was the idea that they might struggle but now reality is setting in. So a look at the starters for the Wizards. We've got Mo Wagner. Now this Burton's out there with Abdia. Then there's Russell. Come on. Westbrook. Yeah, there we go. In at the two guard spot. And for Indiana. We'll just kind of try and Ogden split and down Oladipo, low. The backcourt duo. Sabonis, Sabonis, I definitely do not want you JaVale taking McGee. a three. And it's Holiday, I probably should have been three, more. The small forward. Now here's Oladipo. Get it. Get it, Oladipo. Absolutely. Well, opponents worry about Oladipo's quickness attacking the basket, which really helps him create good uh -oh, looks. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. Oladipo against Beal. Over Oladipo. That actually worked out pretty well. Still gave up an offensive rebound. That's all right. That's all right. 
concern. Good we can we can work with this. Feed, uh, he, he knows exactly where to go with that ball. And Boom! There uh, it is, Victor Oladipo. When someone is open on his squad, he gets it to him. There we go. Trogdon, no points, has an assist the the on Westbrook. Westbrook passes to Wagner. Big time. Just to be. Oh, whoa. Outside Westbrook. Just five to shoot. Oh. Oh. Don't leave that. And no there we go. First shot of the night. Missing. Oh, I wasted it. I wasn't paying enough attention to the call. Close contest so far as we finish the first quarter. Pacers. Ah, it's okay. It happens. It it's happens. the NBA on 2K Sports from Indianapolis. Dang it. And some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far. And let's quickly break down the game, guys, we have seen from Indiana. What do you think? An impressive start. They came in with a well-conceived game plan and have executed. Well, yeah, this is their preferred pace, and, and it's gotten them out to an early lead. Okay. And so it's Beal. He'll bring it up for Washington. It's a three-point game. The Pacers Look out. beat them last time when these two teams Not 100 percent sure why he they took lost that the shot. Last matchup against this team, really in part because of such a cold shooting night. Doug McDermott is out there okay. with All right. Larry Nance. Relax, and relax. Lamb, and there's Miles Turner, and it's Holiday, and at the five. No, gosh so darn it! There for Indiana. I run into the players so much. Smith finds Beal over Lamb. Beal can't get it to okay. go. Again, kind of getting blessed here with. Missed shots more Hands so than. Bryant. All right, all right, all right. Uh, Here's Lamb. A three-pointer okay. off the mark. I needed to hit that a second sooner. In the first half. Get there, get there, get there, get there. A baseline J, and he okay. gets the jump shot. Right. Uh, with effortless mechanics, Bill always has to be accounted for, especially from mid-range. And Lamb, here we go. And he there we go. This was what I was afraid of in the last game against Brooklyn was ah, don't do it, don't do it, don't do it. Was playing too quickly and giving them opportunities to get back in the game. Got lucky with some missed shots. Made a couple on my own, or on my side of things. Three-point lead feels good going in half. Feels good. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hello again, folks. Ernie Johnson here with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaquille O'Neal. It's the NBA on 2K Sports, and let's talk the first half. For the Pacers, the first quarter was pretty even. The period came to a close with them holding a three-point lead. They're in good position at the half after a second quarter that was dead even in scoring. Kenny, your thoughts about the Pacers and how they're playing? Well, I have to point to their efficiency on the offensive end as a key for them. The way they've been moving the ball and finding the open man, that's been super impressive. They don't need to change a thing, Ernie. At this point, just keep playing smart basketball. And over to Shaq, your take on the Wizards. It's hard to believe they're still in the game with the way they play defense. I do believe in miracles. Uh, they're allowing over 60% shooting from the field. Listen, I bet the coach is giving them a very strong lecture right now. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. Victor Oladipo really making a difference here. And even with the defense shading towards him on every trip down, he still finds a way to come up big. He's so good at reading opportunities and seizing up on whatever the defense gives up. And in that he continues half, stay, he continues we'll staying sort of hot in this uh, second the half. half. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade. For the second half of basketball. So All right, we're good. We're Wizards good. five right now. This is uh, not the matchup. Russell Westbrook out there with Bradley Beal. Yeah, it's not, not a good matchup, but that's okay. And it's Wagner in at the five. 
Wow, the polished offensive game of Bill. He's terrific at capitalizing in this area of the court. That was a that was a bad shot on my part. He didn't collapse on me enough to make that pass. I just D has to be airtight. That gives them Okay, Russell Westbrook. God dang it. One now for the Wizards. It's a great move and he catches the defense completely off guard. There we go. to see a little more energy coming out of halftime with the defensive and with underrated strength Oladipo God, Russell, 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 Russell Westbrook contact. is so Westbrook quick and the God. At the line get out of here ball. with that and guys the D has to show a little more fight on the interior than they did on that track. he has uh, six points in this quarter free throw of the game Second half of this game is the Russell Westbrook show. Okay, all right, we can move it along here. Come on. Free throw good. I don't know why I bothered to do it. As it gets at Just mashing those buttons for no reason. And this will be the last possession of the quarter if they're patient. Yeah, no need to rush right here. Let the clock run a little, then execute your offense. Passes it to Lamb. There's the triple. Good. And it's Oladipo picking up the assist. That's what you want to see. Wide, wide open. Three -point line. Green light. To extend further out. It's still anybody's game as we've reached the end Not a great three. quarter defensively. Gave Pacers up six points just one. to Westbrook. But the three at that end, the end of that quarter, definitely helps me feel a lot better going into the fourth. We'll get the ball first. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. I mean, well, if you're the coaching staff, I mean, you're pumped up. Ooh, this I was all the way back in the first quarter. Kind of surprised that that last assist wasn't uh, the assist of the game. Both of those were very nice. I mean, I'll take whatever. It's fine. And but. with three quarters behind us, we start the fourth right. quarter in what is still anybody's ball game. Ogden and Oladipo, the backcourt duo. Jeremy Lamb out right, there with Nance. What are we and it's Turner in at the five down low. Here. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Ogden finds Oladipo. The three. Kins, the three. Oh, you just love seeing the it. With absolutely no fear. Yeah, he approached that one with total confidence. That felt he good. It takes to come through in the clutch. Time called here. The Wizards decide I'm happy to with that whole possession. They're behind. Uh, Turner four. McGee can come in. Thirty-nine seconds left in the fourth we'll quarter. Put Sabonis back. Lamb's fine. And some changes here for the Pacers. JaVale He's McGee's ten points. Ten of the fifteen points. And just Let's go, Oladipo. And a new group getting ready for the Wizards. Mo Wagner's well, whoa, for mid range. Bertinus comes in for Rui Hachimura. <laughs> Bob Diaz checked in oh, for really? Troy Brown. And Bradley Beal subbed in for Robinson. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. I was able to listen in on what Scott Brooks had to say to his team. He told him we've got to make the most of every chance right now. This is a winnable game, but we've got to make it? plays. Guys, we'll see if right, let it back. tick down, let it tick. That is... Please, thank you for not making that shot. No, 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 no. Okay, Holiday's fine. Holiday's fine. Shoot off balance like that. Sometimes you just got to go straight up with it. Basket here, and this game may be all over. Yeah, but but the main priority, Kevin, has to be taking the game's care already all over. Basketball I'm up four. The clock. Uh, cut the head to about five minutes from now, and I'm seething in anger because I lost this game. Just kidding. We're gonna we're gonna win this. Came out hot. Came out firing. That old Depot three was huge. That's where you want to see that green light. I burned a bunch of the clock off. Hell yeah. Boom. There we go. You can take all the timeouts you want, Washington. You're done. You're done. We'll see you at the end of the season. Time called here. The Wizards decide to talk it over. They're trailing by six. 24 seconds left here in the fourth quarter. 
Uh, that's the bonus McGee holiday. We're good. And now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game. It's got to be Oladipo. Victor yeah. Oladipo. Yeah. yeah, Victor Oladipo. Of course it's Victor Oladipo. We have 10 points. Averaging 4.6 on the season, which is really good. He was up at 5.5 for a while. But just uh, a bunch of hard work. A couple of a couple of games that didn't go super well, or I kind of just moved away from him. Oh, they're still going to foul. Just let it run. Come on. Brogdon's going to get four points, but he's going to have them all from the free throw line. Malcolm Brogdon. So the first there we go. Drops Slightly late. Seven point lead. It's like they'll empty their bench. That was Lopez. Hachimura comes in. There you go, Rui. Get some playing time and garbage time of this game that's well past, uh, well past done. Ooh, that one. So he goes two for two at the lot. Held it down a little too game. long. No big deal. I, I think it's safe to call this one a wrap. But yeah, the game got away from them, but hopefully they um, learned some okay. things, and, and hopefully they'll be able to make some adjustments next time. Whoops! 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 In a wide open look whoops! It's good. And, and you see oh, excuse me. Of Hachimura not feeling the pressure of the moment at all. <laughs> and they need to stop Excuse the clock so two things. Off. One, what? You know what? Two. Crowd. That was a three? That was a three? That was my bad. I should have thrown the ball that aggressively. Why not, you know, why not make it dramatic? Completely unnecessary. Gets the first, and that gives them a four-point cushion. The combination of shooting and speed. Are they going to bring in their whole starting lineup again? Because I think they're in this game. And his hunger to keep getting better, also impressive. And he hits both free okay. throws here. There we go. So now it's a five-point game. So there's no timeouts, which is nice. Calm at the line. He has it here. And he just oh. put the game to bed. Got a little unnecessarily so dramatic there. They didn't make it easy Partially my fault. But. But the All right, 21-16. Back at 500, 39 and 39 through 78 games with four remaining. See if uh, see if we make any progress on the Boston Celtics, a team that we face in the next game in Boston. So that'll be exciting. We'll see uh, Washington in game number 82. Thanks for watching the NBA. We're gonna be also we need to slow down here. We also should be getting pretty close to the point where we're kind of locked into our, or at least in the playoffs, not locked into our positioning, our seating, but at least clinched a playoff berth. With a little bit, uh, a little bit to go here. All right, that'll do it. Back to back wins, feeling good. Winners of three of the last four. Huge game coming up against Boston. Could be, could be for playoff seating. Could not be. You'll have to tune in next time for that. And the best way to do that is to subscribe, which means you scroll just a little bit lower, hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, do all that good stuff. Check out the live streams, twitch.tv slash Rex. Uh, and we'll see you in the next one in Boston. Go Pacers. I almost said go Sox. Go Pacers.